Well, no matter what, we didn't make the announcement until they actually did make the announcement later on in late 2023, where there's going to be a brand new Casa Grande's movie. And now let's actually talk about how the heck we ended up getting that interview. (laughs) (laughs) All right, it's story time, guys. So let's actually, yeah, it's some story time talk right now because um, how this was organized was quite something. Um, Because it was weird, because like, Literally two weeks, bef- a couple weeks before the Casa Gratis movie came out, it was going to come out in March. I think uh, an idea came to mind where we're like, we want, can we do this? Can we do this? Like, can we actually get an interview with Miguel? And lo- and what's kind of crazy is that he actually knows, like, the fan page of Loud House. He doesn't, I don't know if he knows about the animation podcast, so I actually mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> so this just came out so randomly where I actually, me- I actually messaged him. I actually messaged him. And I actually said something like, "How hello, Miguel Puga. My name is Nate, co-host of the Animation Podcast. Me and Omid of the podcast have been big fans of your works. Um, we started hearing rumors about the possible Casa Grande's movie. Uh, we we just pretty much like said stuff like, hey, we um, we love the Casa Grande's. We hated the fact that it was canceled back in 2021. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, we love the bo- we love the Loud House movie back in 2021. It was sad that we couldn't be able. It's sad the show got canceled, but we also heard that the co- the amount the movie came out. Um, and I did say this though: Are you willing to do a 30 minute interview with us? Um, we'll try to keep the questions generic, vague, blah blah blah. You know those kind of things that you ask when you talk to you know when you're talking to somebody that's actually really important. <laughs> and what's kind of crazy is the fact that like. He was down for it. He said he's loved it. He would love it. <laughs> yes. He said yes. And well, and here's the thing too. He actually said, "Can we can I bring Darren?" <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a Miguel Puga interview and then Dar- and then he wanted to bring Darren on. I'm like, "Yes, please do it." <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of uh, mentions back in 2021. You know, when the the random moment that happened where like Darren and Miguel just popped out of our stream out of nowhere. <laughs> you never expected that would happen. Uh, you didn't expect it would happen to, to, because at the end of the day, it was a random stream to celebrate the Loud House movie being released. You know, uh, a, a random light. It was a live stream that took place like about an hour, less than an hour before the movie's release. And yeah, all of a sudden we see Miguel Puka. Uh, we see his message and we're thinking to myself, could that be? Is it Puka Senpai himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh actually, I, I was the one who brought it up. It's like, is that you? Is that really you, Miguel Puga? <laughs> and Darren McGowan also hopped in as well. There, there was a part of me that was thinking, that's got to be a troll or or fake name. Like, there's no way there's actually the Miguel Puga and the no, Darren McGowan. No, it was actually re- really Miguel Puga. And How like, they find us? <laughs> I don't know. I think because it was this was the time where we were, like, waiting for the, co- the Loud House movie to come out. This is back in 2021. And they just came out of nowhere. I'm like, <laughs> I, I did not, I did not anticipate it for one thing. And I was like, how the heck are we gonna entertain ourselves for the next hour until the sh- until the movie comes out on Net- <laughs> on Netflix? <laughs> oh my god, that was such a that was such a starstruck, star-struck moment. moment. Yeah, Jinx. definitely starstruck star-struck moment. moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. So obviously, it was three years later. Miguel, the Casa Grande's movie came out. Miguel definitely was that was like on Twitter, and I was like, why not? Why don't we take a shot at it? And lo and behold, he actually did say we would love to get the interview going. I'm like, awesome, awesome. That was great. <laughs> and then what was also great, too, was the fact that Miguel hooked us up. Like, um, I'm not going to put up much of the details, but we did actually watch the movie before everybody else did. <laughs> yeah. We, early access. Early access. So <laughs> here's the thing. Like, we wanted to watch – what he was what we were thinking is that we watched the movie, then we asked questions for the interview. Yeah. So that was it. <laughs> and the thing is, it was hard because we had to uh, ask questions talking about the movie while not talking about the movie. Exactly. If no, so, you get my so it was it, it was something about uh, I forgot what it's called the embargo. It's something about an embargo where obviously we cannot say a lot of stuff to you all. Obviously about the movie, we kept it to ourselves until the movie came out. It was hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was hard because like I kept. <laughs> Being a part of Discord servers and a lot of fans who are huge of Loud House and Casa Grande's fans, I'm like, I, I can't say this right now. I can't say this right now. <laughs> but, but there's a part of my brain that was like, do it. Say it. No. <laughs> and, and, I, and I think of myself, brain, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up, brain. I, I know social media is just a very, like a very <laughs> addictive thing right now where everybody will love to like hear your thoughts and and things here and there. To say social media is an addictive thing would be a massive understatement. Right. Oh, my God. Like... 
it was tough to do it, obviously, um, because the movie was good. Like, when we first saw it, I'm like, oh my god, this happened, that happened, this happened, that happened. <gasps> this is great. Oh my god. This oh, it was happened. outstanding. It was outstanding. And obviously, the uh, issue was, we, have, we watched the movie, and then we have to make these questions right now. Because literally, like, we, we got it, because we, we, we already set up the interview. The interview wasn't going to be set up the weekend before the movie came out. Um, and what we did was... Dude, dude, we watched the movie literally two days before our interview day, and we have to do, we have to make these questions quickly. Yeah. So we we literally sat on a Saturday, both me and Omid. I mean, we're both separately in different houses, but we I told them like make your questions, make my questions, let's sort it out, and then after that we'll make the we'll get the interview going. Yeah. So what we did was we brainstormed some of our questions, and then uh, and then we pretty much listed the questions, and then we asked them to. Uh, Miguel Puka and Darren McGowan. And not only that, not only were did we write down our questions, but uh, there were actually a few questions uh, that were asked by uh, some of our good friends. Well, to be fair, I kind of wanted to, uh, I kind of told them like, hey, um, do you guys want to ask? Here's the thing. Like, I know that we, uh, some of you guys on YouTube probably were wondering like, hey, why am I answered? Why did my questions get answered? <laughs> 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 guys, we wanted to go to the specific fans that love the Loud House. So like, Sunny Eclipse. Yeah. Um, Royal, Royal Smurf. Smurf. Yeah. Royal Smurf and Jakku. Yeah. There's so, a, there, I know there's a bunch of other like Loud House Casa Grande fans out there, yeah. but we have we have a close circle group that are huge Loud House and Casa Grande fans. So. so so we want to give a huge shout out to Sunny Eclipse, Jakku, Royal Smurf, and all others that had their questions. Uh, yep. th thank you so much for and lo and behold, pitching out your And lo and behold, on that Sunday, when we were doing the interview, we did do the interview, by the way. So yeah. that was just... Okay, so... It was it was kind of crazy too, like how we were able to set it up because like we have Streamyard ready. Um, I just was putting a, I was making sure the link works, so I had you come in like thirty, like a couple minutes before. Um, Darren and Miguel came in, and we kind of said like, "Hey, can you can we get this tested out?" I put the link out to I gave the link out to Miguel. Miguel gave the link out to Darren, and then we had this interview going. We recorded it, and. This is what you saw on our YouTube page, okay? <laughs> yes. Your eyes do not deceive you. That is actually us with the Miguel Puga and Dermot Gowen themselves. Oh, my God. So I, I would say this. I mean, how, how did you feel about interviewing them? Because I was nervous as hell. <laughs> oh, believe me. I was, I was nervous, too. I was, I was like, okay, I got to leave a good impression on these guys because <laughs> they, 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 they really are such, you know, important figures, you know. Of loud cost. I was just like, ah, oh my god, I can't take it like that. I know, I know. Like, I, I, I'm trying to make sure, like, I can't. I obviously the thing that I wanted to say is don't interrupt them because they have to answer a question. I give the question to them, they have to answer it wholeheartedly without interruptions. Oh yeah, um, be because you know we want to be as respectful to these guys as possible. Yeah, I restrain yeah. myself from you know interrupting. I remember you restrained yourself as well. So I tried my best because like I didn't want to interrupt them. Obviously, it ain't easy question. though, man. It ain't easy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, rem I believe all of their answers got, qu they're all, uh, here's the thing. Like I did love the fact that some of them didn't know these questions were going to be asked. Like, uh, I asked him about Familia being an important stuff in the movie and he's like, that's a very good question. I'm like, I set you up, bro. I set you up. Oh <laughs> and, and not to mention the fact of how they were really chill to talk to as well. Like Miguel and Darren, what it felt like, it definitely felt like a sort of like coffee table conversation between It's supposed friends. to be. It's supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know why, but it's, just, it's like such a, it's so important. It was it's so important for all of us because you never expect the creators of, you know, Loud House or Cosmic Grind to come in and actually interview with you. And I'm like, this is a real thing. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. I I'm just like, is this the real Oh, my God. <laughs> is this just fantasy? <laughs> yep, it's real. Oh, life. damn. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. That was just, yeah. Um, shout out again to Darren and Miguel. Uh, Darren McGowan and Miguel Puga. Man, um, thank you for agreeing to be a part of, of this interview. I, was, I just never expected this to happen. And I believe this was just very last minute. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much to Miguel and Darren for your time. Thank you so much for talking and, um, with us. And um, I, I think some of the, some of the moments that stood out to me were, um, I remember Miguel Puga had this shrine, like of this altar. Oh yeah. 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 He put it up on Twitter. Yes. yes. That shrine where he was like, praying that the movie will be good or there's going to be a new Casa Grande's content coming out. <laughs> I just remember asking that question too. I told him like, is there possibly new Casa Grande's content coming out? And then he told me like, there, there's no, there's no 
future ongoing projects for Casa Grande at the moment, which kind of tells me like, oh man, this is probably the last time we'll see him. Keyboards being at the moment. Oh man. But for real though, I mean, oh my God. So, <laughs> so unbelievable yeah. um, to get Miguel and Darren along. And I do want to also thank out, uh, thank Stephanie Kwan, um, who was uh, one of the PR folks in Netflix um, for actually hooking us up for the movie to watch before the interview and before everybody else did. <laughs> <laughs> I Okay, so I got to say this because of me having that early access. I watched the movie like five, six, seven times <laughs> before everybody else did. <laughs> yeah, I only got to experience it once before it was officially released, my man. Like, <laughs> I wish I could have seen it like four more times and myself. No, it's man. harder. It was harder because like I, I know everything from the movie and I'm like, I can't say stuff right now. I can't say anything right now because the yeah. movie's not out yet. It must be tough having to refrain from quoting one of the most quotable no, movies. It's weird because right? like um, I have it like it's an earworm now. So I get to hear, yeah. pon- I hear, get to hear Ponguari's like, you know, uh, chant, her, her Mexican chant when she tries to summon the mask. Uh, yeah. uh, so God, that's just a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, um, this was just a fan moment. I just couldn't believe that we could be able to do it. But thanks again for hooking us up for this. It was just awesome to do. Yeah, this was definitely um, the highlight of an animation podcast. And uh, we hope to have more moments like this where we talk to more, you know, guest stars like the future.